Oh, and guess what? <laughs> guess who is going to head the Senate's environment and climate policy? Guess who's going to be the next chair of the Senate Environment and Public Works Committee? James Inhofe. Ah! <laughs> Ooh. Guess who's going to be head of the Judiciary Committee? Yeah! Guess who's going to be head of the Armed Services Committee? What do you think? Three months we'll be in a violent shooting war with Muslims somewhere? Hmm? What do you think? So James Inhofe, uh, in 2003, he claimed the global warming might help humanity. <clears throat> He said, quote, it's also important to question whether global warming is even a problem for human existence. Thus far, no one has seriously demonstrated any scientific proof that increased global temperatures would lead to the catastrophes predicted by alarmists. In fact, it appears that just the opposite is true, that increases in global temperatures may have a beneficial effect on how we live our lives. Now, in that same speech, he argued that an international body of climate change scientists, quote, resembled a Soviet-style trial in which the facts are predetermined and ideological purity trumps technical and scientific rigor. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uh, oh, and Inhofe refuted climate change science a couple of years ago by citing the Bible. Now, this guy's going to be head of environmental policy in the, in, in the Senate. This is what he said, quote, Genesis 8.22 says that uh, I, I, I use in there uh, what I say is, as long as the earth remains, there will be seed time and harvest, cold and heat, winter and summer, day and night. My point is God's still up there. The arrogance of people who think that we human beings would be able to change what he's doing in the climate is to me outrageous. Hallelujah.